Uh, no. Ah. Hello. Hello. She fights me. <laughs> no good. Ladies, I want to share something with you. This is a time in this world of great upheaval in this year, 2012. Take heed. Do not discount what I am about to give you. <laughs> Strange does not even begin to give you what I'm about to say to you. This world of yours is stranger and stranger every day. This world of yours is coming apart as it seems. There is corruption all around you. Everywhere there is corruption. In the most unlikely places there is corruption. Place your trust in no authority figure unless you know them very, very well. Greed is rampant. Even though you live in this age of technology and instant communication, you are further disconnected than you ever were. Get back into the heart center. Get back into the heart <coughs> center. Wake up every day and think of only one thing. And this, this Yasua taught love. And he did not say go around like a ninny. <coughs> He did not tell you to put on saffron robes and walk around with flowers. I'm very excited that you allowed me to come through. So let us talk about, let us talk about the concept of love for a moment or two. Shall we do that? Love, hearts and flowers and violins. <coughs> <coughs> Puppy dogs and babies. Love, Valentine's Day, hearts and candy. Oh, love. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> love. You have categorized as an emotion. You want to consider it a verb. It is an action. One of the first practices of the morning is the high priest. We would place our faces to the sun and we would smile. And we would radiate love from our hearts because we were alive. We were breathing and we were able to look at the sun, put our faces to it. It was a confusing time of many gods. So many gods were worshiped. But it all boils down to one thing, and that is one God. One God without definition. You need to stop defining this God. This God cannot be defined. Describe the air. Describe it. Me? Describe the air. You cannot. The air. Can you describe air? No. Can you walk 
up to somebody and tell them what air looks like. You cannot walk up to somebody and tell them what God looks like either. Why do you make God so small? This is funny. This we will have fun with this. <laughs> Why do you make God so small? One day in your quantum physics domain, the scientists will prove the existence of something. The existence of a mind, of an energy, a field of something that is endless, a field of knowledge that penetrates everything, everything, and that from here to there in that space is God right there it can be tapped into through the millennia I have seen and witnessed many things I walked in the desert with those entities you would call angels as they surrounded this man called Yasi Yasua Jesus now there was a teacher there was a teacher, and he would walk in the desert at night when the moon was full, and he would commune, and they would come close. It was magnificent. And I asked him one day, why do you do what you do? Why do you do this? You could be sitting somewhere with many children <coughs> and a fine wife eating dates and cheese and resting upon your laurels. Why do you do this? Why is this the path that you took? I want to know.